Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the 17th episode of the second season of ReZero. And last episode, it was kind of Garfield's time to shine, you know, getting some of that spotlight, kind of kind of feeling like the protagonist for an episode, so yeah, a lot of good stuff on that front. Also, some good, some more good Amelia Subaru stuff, you know, the, the influence that Subaru has had on Amelia, I think is, I think it's pretty clear at this point in the story. And, you know, she definitely needed Subaru in her life, I think, so yeah, we ended off on a bit of a confrontation with, with Amelia, so I, I imagine we'll continue with that, that was pretty cool to see, you know, Amelia pointing finger and saying, I am me, go away, bad witch person, I think she said something like that. Anyway, let's get into the episode, see what's up, three, two, one, play. Ice. Because ReZero has started. That too. <sighs> that just looks so cold. Puck. You can't leave us, in, leave us in suspense like that. <laughs> Are you okay, Echidna? Are you having a rougher time than her? <laughs> Hey, the person can hope. Just a couple of friends for all for all the in the forest together. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that explains everything. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Just so weird seeing these two interact. <laughs> yeah, it's not like I like you or anything. Baka. <laughs> well, she did have a rough time before, that's... I I think it'll go better this time. <laughs> okay. I like the sound of that. I'm rooting for you, Amelia. You got this. Oh. <laughs> okay. Is anyone home? You know, like, if you just stick your hand to the tree, just, just... Okay. That was a yes. Gonna see some more memories here. <laughs> Little Amelia. I mean, I assumed so. <laughs> How dare she. <laughs> it's adorable. But yeah, what about that person? Her hair is so short, so I wonder why. Yeah, this show makes me nervous whenever her mother leaves. 
Her brother. <laughs> Aww. Okay. Gotcha. <sighs> and then she never came back. She's all alone. <laughs> Somebody go play with this girl. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Amelia was... Is that Puck? <laughs> See, I don't know if I can't go through that very small exit. Well, maybe she can. What do I know? Just, just gonna just watch the Amelia explore the forest, because that could be fun. <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. Okay, well, this is probably gonna go horribly, you know. So I'm in the process of preparing myself for that. Uh, those outfits. I don't know why, but they just, they concern me for some reason. Uh, you're not gonna tell me that's Beetlejuice, are you? Because the hair color, color, it kind of looks like it. Oh, gee. It freaking is. Oh my god, but he looks like, like a normal person, though. This is wrong. It's just so weird. <sighs> I feel like that's going to change. It's a nice forest. It's got butterflies. Archie. That's a name. So yeah, you know, just I'm just waiting for things to go horribly. Yeah, I mean, she's healthy enough to be running around. It's probably for the best. So you're really not trying to process a lot of this. Is Amelia gonna get no? Those are not Amelia's footsteps. I would never. <laughs> I I would not I would never say otherwise.
<laughs> Just dab you insist. Oh, we should probably get back now. Like, quickly. <laughs> uh, you just... Well, don't rush too much. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> uh, she is just way too damn cute. It's, it's not fair. Wow. <laughs> but I uh, just... Don't, don't come in... Uh, oh my god. Wow. I made a bit of a mess. My bad. How do you get it on your head all the way to your... <laughs> yeah, I can't be mad at little, little Amelia. But, yeah... I understand. Understandable. Just you're gonna get paint on you. <laughs> it's just funny because I was thinking on my key as well, in regards to her character like this, and someone actually said it. Yeah. <laughs> I see. As I was saying. <laughs> yes, that would only be taken as praise by Amelia. I am not ready yet. Uh, yeah, that was, I think that was brought up. The head was at a weird angle, so I wasn't really sure what I was looking at, like what position she was in. Nothing, I was just playing with a fairy. Okay. Thank you for the nuts. <laughs> As she falls. <laughs> Every time she does that sneak sound effect thing. And I hit my hand on the desk. Yeah, because she just keeps leaving the, the, the house. The shot looks familiar. <laughs> I, I see. Are you are you flirting? <laughs> The fact that you're acting like a normal person is strange enough. Oh, does she have a fever? <laughs> Just all the bakas over there. The two of them.
<laughs> the power of Amelia's wink, it's just too powerful. Things look like a bit that's a good turn for the cold. Oh, that's a really cool looking door. I kind of want it. Like in my room. Door is huge. Or she's tiny. Both. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't touch that. <laughs> okay, what did we just walk in into walk into? I just I wasn't ready for the transition back to super. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> yes, I understand. <laughs> You'll be fine, super. <laughs> Can we change the subject? How long has it been so far? Yeah, I don't talk like that. Ow! <laughs> That's Ram for you. Okay. You really have to change it. <laughs> uh, yes, we know. <laughs> Still in pain over there. Hello. Uh, you okay? But back to the seal. That we probably should mess with. I mean, it's pretty big and sturdy looking. I'm not surprised the little girl can't just push it over. <laughs> it's all her fault. And definitely his fault. Like, a lot of things are his fault. The sky red, yeah, that sounds pleasant. <laughs> That's actually kind of what I was thinking, too. Something's about to happen. Probably not a good thing. Oh, juice. You're... Your butt's kind of visible, Amelia. That's t that was terrible hiding. <laughs> what? She's not that dirty. What's up? She looks fine to me. Just a couple leaves on her. Uh... Are you, are you okay? Uh... Starting to scare me a little bit. It's hard to believe when you got tears just flowing down. <laughs> uh... 
Evet. <gülüyor> you know, because they're tears of joy. Evet. Uh, really just again not quite sure how to take this. Makes me nervous though, I'll tell you that. Uh, you know, this reminds me too much of a scene from Happy Sugar Life that that I that I that I like. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like their dynamic a little bit. Okay. <laughs> so I guess we're playing now. Okay. She's here too. Yeah, I wish I wished to. <laughs> yeah, why are you guys slacking? We're playing a game here. Don't you guys get that? <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, it walked right into that one, literally. <laughs> Playing dirty. Because she was running. <laughs> yeah, and I can't say no to the fairies. But they—they they did it though. It's everything is their fault. <laughs> I mean, he did cry, yeah. And yet she did. It's a good line. And that kind of, yeah, and that kind of ties into the promise of Subaru thing. Why that meant so much to her. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ju Juice is still dying over there. Really is a crybaby. Yeah, you know, one came over to our place and... <laughs> yeah, 
Yes. <laughs> I mean, it's less surprising to me because we see her utilize them in, in the future, but I guess to her it'd be a surprise. <laughs> you guys are using big words at me. <laughs> As we know. I can't let my sweet Amelia grow up. <laughs> well. <laughs> I... I don't know if being on his side is necessarily the best thing. <laughs> I had a feeling she was going to say that. <laughs> Uh, she ships it. <laughs> Ouch. I really don't. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> uh... These two. Get a room, you two. I don't think we're supposed to talk about them. Yeah, of course. Yeah, maybe maybe next episode. <laughs> They're just puffy cheeks. <laughs> we did talk about how important those are. <laughs> yes, trying to, trying to cry too much. I really wasn't ready for this episode. A bad person? Yep, that is... I think I... That's definitely not good. I don't want to make any guesses, because I'll probably be wrong, but... That's definitely not good. It's definitely not good. It is who I thought it was. I don't remember his name, so I couldn't really say it anyway, but... Yeah, you sure like to hear yourself talk. <laughs> uh. Can someone, yeah, can someone shut him up? That is his name. And he is here now. 
Okay, well, that that was the 17th episode of the second season of ReZero. And, okay, I mean, I did kind of figure we were going to get into some, like, memory stuff because Amelia was doing the trial, so that... That makes sense. All the times we've seen her try before, we never actually got to see the memories. We just kind of saw the aftermath of Amelia failing it and how emotionally taxing that was on her. But now, after we had all the stuff with Subaru and stuff, we have Amelia having her, you know, presumably her best shot at it, right? So now she's she's at it. And it's obviously the same kind of thing that Subaru did, you know, memories reconstructed in a dreamlike world and and uh, the Echidna is there. And so yeah, similar in a lot of ways, and yeah, just Echidna, she's not very nice to Amelia, that's one thing I've noticed. It's it's entertaining though, the kind of the, 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 the bit, kind of bickering thing you got going on there. She just like throws all these jabs at Amelia, just, it's, it's so mean, but it's also funny, mostly because Amelia is able to, you know, she's in a better place mentally, so it's not like, you know, she's, she's, she's it's like... Yeah, I don't think it does too much damage to her. That's what I'm trying to say. It just almost just feels like the, at the level of banter between friends. Like, it almost feels like that. Like, right below that level. If that makes sense. But, anyway. that's it's a, I get a kick out of watching that. So, yeah. The episode itself. We got to see Amelia. Like, past Amelia. Like, little little Amelia. And I definitely was surprised just how, you know, Namaiki she is. Especially during the one chasing scene. When she's like, you know, just, uh, what's up guys? Or do you not chase me? And just all the puppy cheek stuff she does. And just... I, I did not know Amelia was like this when she was younger. Like, I don't know. She just came across as so... When we first met Amelia, like, back in season one, you know, like, she just... I would never, never would imagine she was like this. Like, she was just much more timid and soft-spoken and stuff, and, and yet she was like this back then. So, it's it's quite something to see, for sure. Just Amelia being incredibly cute. Just, yeah, just exploring, getting into trouble, going places she's not supposed to go making adults cry just just all sorts of things she did and yeah of course one of the biggest surprises of the episode was definitely uh, beetlejuice just you know just being here you know like a part of things he's friends with just uh For fortuna i think her name was right so you know and fortuna takes care of amelia and just they almost seem like a family, you know, mom, dad, daughter, like, that's almost, like, the, the kind of dynamic they have, it seemingly, right? So, it's just uh, very interesting, like, I kind of thought we would see, like, Amelia's actual parents in in this, but no, we got that instead. And the parents themselves seem to be kind of a, a touchy subject, like, I don't know how much we as the audience know about that stuff at all. I mean, yeah, I don't think we know anything. I mean, I always had a theory that, uh, you know, like, Puck was Amelia's father, because I think he described himself as such, like, called Amelia's daughter and stuff like that. So I just kind of assumed there was something going on with that, where he just assumed that form at some point as a way of protecting her. That's just kind of the, the theory that I had, and uh, I, don't, I don't think the show was as disproven that, but I don't know. The point is, yeah, we're definitely keeping secrets from Amelia in regards to her parents, that much we know for sure. And, you know, just we just have a big Amelia and a kid and just kind of, like, watching past Amelia doing past Amelia stuff. You know, escaping and stuff. It was quite clever, just, you know, pouring blue paint all over herself. You know, I, I, at least my assumption was she did that to hide the dirt on her so she would, uh, so she wouldn't know she went outside. But I don't know, everything happened so fast. It, it, all I know is it worked out in the end. And yeah, Subaru just. We didn't get much Subaru in the episode, but yeah, just seeing him being all down and embarrassed or whatever that was that was quite entertaining as well because he's usually so brazen with his you know declarations of love towards amelia but when he's actually serious about it it's just it's a very different sort of situation clearly also fortuna's strategy to get amelia to come and then like ha i got you that was that was also pretty funny did we we didn't get any specifics about how old fortuna and or beetlejuice is here did we they made a point that he's a lot older than her much, much larger lifespan, but that's all we really got. So, so I'm not so I am curious about that. It just it was just so weird seeing Beetlejuice act like a normal person. Like it really makes me wonder what happened to where we get the uh, you know the, the Beetlejuice we all know uh, you know from the future. It's just it's it's so weird. I don't know how we get from point A to point B in that regard, but I guess something happened. I mean, maybe it's related to the fact that a lieutenant just kind of popped up over here. That's probably that probably has a lot to do with it. I do appreciate that we got this episode without any 
horrible stuff happening just yet. They were nice enough to save it for next episode and just have a bit of a teaser at the very end, letting us know that, yeah, sorry, next episode, things are going to take a turn for the worse real quick. So, you know, now that I can enter the next episode fully ready to, to have my heart sh shattered, right? So I do appreciate that. Although they did start this episode with crying, technically. But aside from that, it really wasn't too sad of an episode. <laughs> and all the sasa sounds that Amelia did were just the best. Just, uh, just the best. I think that's all I got to say on the, on the episode, aside from the fact that that door, the seal, was uh, was quite cool. That, that, was, that was a great door. And that's probably going to be unsealed next episode. And people are probably going to die next episode. I mean, in the, you know, in the memory world. I mean, because technically anyone that died in the memory world already died. It's just us getting to see it. But yeah, it's probably going to be pretty, pretty brutal. Like, we remember when that guy showed up back in the first half of season two. You know, people, a lot of people died. So I see no reason why that wouldn't happen again or before. Again, it's not the right word because of memories and, you know, you know what I mean. You know, you, you know. So, yeah, I'm nervous to watch next episode, but gotta do it i gotta know what happened i gotta have that amelia backstory this is important so yeah good episode definitely really really like this one really appreciate what we got and i'm now dreading the next episode so until then thank you for watching and a special thanks to snokey and ryan for supporting the channel if you enjoyed this video i hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more if you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.